We'd all like to think the world a different place. Something ideal, something fluffy, light. Maybe a crystallized kind of haven no one would ever consider leaving. Perhaps you all think you figured me out too. On paper, I read like shit. I reek of unwashed, untrained hair. I smell of small business, bohemian rights, slackers all alike. I'm just some bitch who thinks I can do art or be creative or whatever you kids call it these days. Listen, where's the money they ask? Well, we gave you a piece of paper that says you made it to be more than average, sort of. We fed your want to make it. And yet you're here, a non-taxpayer, the type of person we mock in privacy in our corporate building, with coffee machines that serve those individual cups. So where is it? Where is your guilt? Where is your sense of failure? Where is your sense of Americanism? My sense of Americanism is also where my freedom lies. Please do remind me where I might have left it because as I recall, in my unkept mind, whirl of madness and pink lips, I didn't receive it. But how could I? If it was never meant to be mine, when it's just another word we gave meaning to between shackled feet covered in the soot of children. Tell me, where am I to go now for this sense of freedom you say I have that doesn't exist? I hate me today. And sometimes. It sits on my lap, asking to be cooed. It begs me to get a pointy thing, an instrument to teach me the lesson, the lesson that has been passed down to the women in my family, our beloved heirloom, a piece of lovely history that plays itself on repeat but on mute. Today will make days I haven't slept because I deserved it, of course. Laid into the lavender aroma, incense therapy, I closed my eyes, hoping to slip into a blissful darkness that didn't end. And the chattering begins. Or has it already? It's one now. I hate what you've turned me into, this restless loon, crying to the night, demanding that it takes with me when the sun rises. I am so done with this. If I didn't have sense or loved him, I would have done it. And like getting drunk, it would have felt sweet in the beginning and worth vomiting at the end. But I can't be her. I don't want this genetic prize of emotional poverty. I'd like to have more than just sad. I hate you. I hate what you do. I despise me more for listening to your goddamn antics at 2 a.m. I loathe you. I one razor blade at a time adore you. Until the end, we dine in.